everyone, James Manson here bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, it feels like so long since I've said that. Who are you people? What are you doing in my studio? <laughs> oh my goodness, it feels so good to be back and doing a wig video with you guys. Now, I decided I wanted to do something very, very special to me. Because as you know, I am a celebrity hairdresser. It's true. I'm a hairdresser to the stars now, guys. I recently was asked to make a wig for Neil Patrick Harris himself. That's right. Hedwig and the Angry Inch, you know. How I Met Your Mother, uh, Doogie Howser, Neil Patrick Harris asked for me to make a wig because, well, they needed something that was very 60s, very fun and flirty, very much like a fun, fabulous flip for their new series, Drag Me to Dinner. Yes! Drag queens competing in a cooking competition where they also have to host a party and put together like decorations and stuff. It is wild. It is stupid. It is fun. Go out and watch it on Hulu and look for my wig when Neil Patrick Harris is in drag. It's in every single episode. You can't miss this wig, okay? First things first, I am using my own wig line for this. I use the Misty Premium Wig in Blonde. This is her. She is honestly like the best kept secret when it comes to drag queen wigs. Like this is a fabulous wig that I am so proud of, you guys. Like she is so versatile and so decadent and so luxe. Oh my gosh, let's get started. First things first, I have to cut this wig at length, okay? Because the Misty is a little longer for this style. So I have to make it a little shorter because this crops at the shoulders so it can be a bubble flip, you know, flipped up. Like it's supposed to be a fun, flirty, shaggy kind of flip. And as much as it pains me to cut this length off of, because like, oh, I love these wigs. And like, I always enjoy styling them because I designed it so that you can honestly get a big drag queen wig with just one wig. And since these are custom wigs, they take forever to make. So like, whenever I have to style one, it like hurts me a little bit because I wait so long to get them. But I always love sending them off because I know they're gonna go to a good home and someone that's really gonna cherish it and really work it out. Like you girls that have bought these wigs and styled them, I stand. Eve 6000, talking to you. All right, now I'm gonna cut the rest of this and I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, we are back. Now I gotta jump on curling this wig while I was on the break because honey, there's a lot of hair in this wig. It'd take me forever to curl it all on camera. So the ruler set on this is actually pretty standard. Like I've done this set a million times. So I'll show you it after it's all rolled up. So you have an idea of what to do. It's just rollers all going down in the back and then one in the front for the bangs. The inspiration I was told for this wig and the style they wanted was like a 1960s sort of housewife, you know, what's the word for it? Game show girl. They gave me a lot of like very specific references, like their pictures of Dolly Parton from like the early 60s, like those kind of days. As well as like great photos of like 60s hairstyles and bouffants from like the beauty books from like beauty salons back then. Like I knew the references, okay? Like I fully knew, I was like, oh yeah. I have seen these before. So like your standard bubble flip, which I can do because a bubble flip is honestly one of my favorite hairstyles ever invented by man. Like whoever knows the history of this bizarre 1960s hairstyle, please let me know. I was doing a little bit of research and I guess like there was a huge inspiration from like Asian culture in the 1960s and like certain styles coming over and use of like hair pieces and things like that. And the, like the dawn of wig shops, like wig shops were popping up all over the place in the 1960s. So like hair pieces, switches, falls, backcombing, rats. A rat is basically like a piece of like hair that's put inside of like a hairnet and you put it on top of your head and put your hair over it to give you big hair. It's like a cheater. Some of the information I was able to gather as far as like the history behind like bouffant hair. And I guess like it all calls back to itself because like even like the early 1910s, when like makeup was out of fashion, women were doing really, really inventive things with their hair to stand out. Like having big hair was all the rage. So like hair pieces came in, went out of style, and then came right back in in the 1960s. The women were done roller setting their hair, okay? Like they were done doing the tight sets with the finger waves and all of that. Like it takes forever. And they wanted something that was more fun and like just express themselves even more. So there, so the bouffant made a comeback. When you look at the early 1960s, like girl groups and all the stars at that time and Jacqueline Kennedy and the Ronettes and all these like amazing people coming through with these amazing hair hopper styles. Hair hopper, you may recognize that term from hairspray. That is a term for a woman that spends way too much money on her hair that she can't afford. <laughs> like she spends all of her money at the beauty salon getting these obnoxious hairstyles put in and then ends up sleeping with toilet paper wrapped around her hair to preserve the hairstyle. So she doesn't have to go and get it reset. You know, she can just cheat it and have the hair for a while. Like get a few more days out of it than you normally would. Think of like Elvira and Elvira Mistress of the Dark. Like she has her hair 
fully clipped with toilet paper around it to keep the bouffant in place. Now I am going to roll this last section right here. We only have one more roller left and I'll show you the final product for the roller set in case you want to try it at home. It's really simple. That's the back and that's our front. So it's just a couple rollers going face down and then one in the very front for the bang to curl under. Now I'm going to steam this off camera and we'll come back and start styling our bubble flip. Yes, be right back. <laughs> Welcome back, the hair is all curled. Look, it's like Shirley Temple walked in, <laughs> or baby Jane. Yes, okay, so I am so excited to start styling up this wig. Now a bubble flip is a fun wig because honestly, you honestly can do whatever you want with this. Like you just have to tease it down and all it really matters is the direction you brush it out. So we're just gonna pack in as much teasing in this as possible. The more the better, honestly. That's why I love a bubble flip. Like 60s bouffants are always so much fun because as long as you pack it, you're gonna be good to go. Now, whenever I think of bubble flips, I always think of this old movie called Shag, which is like a 1980s, remembers the 60s, like teen movie which I remember watching as a little kid and being obsessed with. Like it takes place in Myrtle Beach, right? And it's like these four friends, they go down there as like a coming of age story and they meet boys and, you know, grow up and become ladies. And it's really fun. And at the end, you get a dance competition, which is always good. And it starred Phoebe Cates, Paige Hannah, Bridget Fonda, and I think Annabeth Gish. Yeah, that was everybody. Wow. Photographic memory. It's one of my favorite movies. So anyways. <laughs> The bubble flip comes to mind because I remember a very specific scene. Paige Hannah is styling Annabeth Gish's hair and she's like got this gigantic like not like rat's nest on top of her head, right? Like it was in curlers the whole time and then she starts ratting it out and like you look over like as the scene progresses and she's got like big old like <laughs> bush of hair. Paige Hannah asks the group like, should I do like a French twist or bubble flip? And all I can remember is Annabeth Gish going, bubble flip's a great for shagging. And I didn't know what the shag was. Like in Myrtle Beach, like the Carolinas, the shag is like a dance. It's like, you know, I like to call it like the angle twister because it's really, really fast and it involves like moving your ankles around a lot, like crisscross, crisscross, back and forth, during the circle. Like, it's a dizzying dance. I don't know how any people do it and don't break their ankles, but I digress. I always think of the bubble flip and I think of shag when I see that. And I would later find out from Torin that the movie was actually based on like four girls in real life that existed in the Carolinas. <laughs> like the daughter of a preacher and like the daughter of a mayor and all that, like they went down. It was based off of like the trouble they got into at Myrtle Beach when they would go on vacation, which I love and like, I didn't know that. <laughs> Thanks Patio Furniture for spilling that tea for me. Now this hairstyle is classic and I can understand why they wanted it. Cause when you watch Drag Me to Dinner, like, it's got like a very Tupperware party kind of feel to it, you know? Like that 1950s ladies are gathering and having a moment and like, you know, discussing and gossiping and possibly selling something. Which is very, very draggy when you think about it. Like drag queens and like parties and showings have a long history together. When you think of like, you know, Dixie Longgate, Aunt Barbara, the late great Dixie Cup, my friend, like the Tupperware party drag queens was such a big part of like the mid 2000s drag scene. Drag queens are fully like buying houses and cars from like Tupperware parties. Like the top selling Tupperware people in America were drag queens at one point. Like it's crazy to think of. But that's kind of what I get when I see like hairstyles like this. You know, it's like a very classic camp kind of hairdo. I have to turn this into a big old rat's nest. So I'll be right back when it's all a bubble and we'll start <laughs> smoothing it. All right, we are back. I have teased it all out and now we're just smoothing it. And the bubble flip is super, super simple, you guys. Honestly, all it is is just smoothing in one direction. Like check it out, like going back and to the side. Just trying to get this as smooth as possible. Now, if you're wondering if it looks like I keep looking down, I actually just got a new monitor. It's gigantic, so I keep getting distracted. I'm like Alyssa Edwards, like, oh, 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 ooh. <laughs> now I have to say, I was so excited to see this project actually come to fruition, because some of the times you hear about drag projects or like I'll do stuff for certain things and like they just never actually happen. So the fact that this actually came to fruition and I got to see it like in action on TV, on Hulu, it's out there. It was such a green, it's like so awesome. I love seeing my work on TV. Now I have started touring again. And honestly, it has been such a delight because I get to like talk to all you guys. You come up to me and tell me you like learn so much from my videos and everything. Like it's always so surreal. Cause like when I make these things, I don't think anyone's actually gonna watch them. <laughs> and to find out people actually do and like they actually learn, like that's super cool to me. And like, I 
always get blown away by it. Trick. Now for both it. Take your hand like that, like that, and brush around your palm like that. Now I'll get you your flick going. Now these hairstyles, I love, 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 love. Like I always think of like Diane Renee or like those great bouffant wearers, like the 1960s, like Leslie Gore. Oh my God, she wore this bubble flip out. Like just watching her sing, you don't owe me with that, that cute, cute, cute bubble flip. Lesbian icon, Leslie Gore, we stand. And it's so feminine and so like universal. You could like do a bunch of stuff with this. I've done this on like my toppers to create like a little topper bubble flip piece. I wore that on draperies actually for like, the Dairy Queen. And yeah, like, you don't have to do like the bang here either. You could have it like going straight back or you could put like a headband there, like anything you want to do, honestly. Like it's super versatile. You could do like a swoop bang, anything you want. And honestly, like we're almost done. Like it's super simple. Like it's just brushing the curls with your palm like I showed you to get it all going one direction and lots of hairspray. As I cut through the strays, I will be right back and we'll do a final smooth one. <laughs> Welcome back. It is all smooth. Look at her. She's gorgeous. All right. Now it's time to do the bang, which is super, super simple. I've done this a bunch of times. But we'll do it again anyway, just because I love you guys so much. So I have the bang all taken down here and you can do whatever you want with this bang. Like I said, you can do, you know, a swoop to the side. You can just fold it right back. Anything you want. I'm going to cut it because, well, that's just what I do. All right, so actually I'm gonna take a little bit of a section here in the back. I might just keep that just to have it join back a little bit because I don't think I need that much hair for this bang. I'm kind of already working with too much. Okay, so we're gonna discard that and just work with that section. Start with this and see where it goes. Teasing that down. Y'all know I love me a roll bang. Like, I don't play, okay? I love a roll bang. <laughs> I think they are so fun. That, oh yeah, <laughs> all right. Yeah, and this little section here is actually gonna go swoop over like that, just to make it blend a little better. Oh yeah, that's what it needed. Love it. Okay, now that, and just start blending our sections. Blend, 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 blend. Okay, stay out of the way, okay. Jack this hair down like so, so you have a nice base. Because we want that big old Tracy Turnblad hairspray bang. Cut it a little longer. <laughs> a bang! All right. That's honestly it. Like, it is the simplest hairstyle ever. But it's so cute. Now, it's a little frizzy, which means I just have to go through and smooth over it. But Honestly, she is done. I just have to smooth her out a little bit more, but that I can do off camera because it's just running my brush over it till it's nice and firm and smooth and gorgeous. I'll be right back with the final result. <laughs> Welcome back. This is the final result. Oh my God, I love it. This is exactly like the hair I made for Neil Patrick Harris on Drag Me to Dinner. <laughs> now streaming on Hulu, guys. Oh my gosh. Be sure and look for it. They use it in every episode, okay? Oh my God, I enjoy doing this hairstyle so much. Like it's like bubble flips are one of my favorite things to do. So when I got this assignment, I was so excited to like take it on. And I'm glad they thought of me when they thought, we need someone that can do great 1960s hair and they immediately like approached me for it, which was so cool. Oh my God, <laughs> it feels so good to be sought out. Oh my gosh, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. And let me know if there's anything you want to see down below. I do miss doing our videos together, you know, be it iconic blondes or brunettes or just a good old wig video. Oh, I miss you guys, and I promise I won't leave you again. Now, I'd like to take a moment, a very moment where I think everyone has tipped me on Venmo. I would like to thank Bryson, Alexis, Erin, Mariana, Bridget, Krista, Hunter, Daniel, John, and of course, Sergio. <laughs> thank you so much for the tips on Venmo. And I also have some YouTube super thanks from Patrick, Robbie, Vanessa, Patrick again, as well as WVU Sci Guy, like sci fi or cyber, and Nathan. <laughs> Thank you all so much for the YouTube super thanks. But I hope you've been enjoying the All Stars 8 content because honestly, it's been a joy to make. And I'm just in my All Stars 8 era right now, okay, guys? Sorry. <laughs> It'll be over soon, okay? The season's almost done. Now, 
I have to say thank you all so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Now hit the outro. Click here and watch the video for my single, J. Cool Has an Emmy, or watch episode 5 of my All Stars Runways. Come on, click it, you know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll beat you in a shake and dance contest. So click it!